Hi, welcome to the New Wave Cooking Club. I'm Jennifer, the executive chef for New Wave Ovens. Today we're gonna make something very simple, but we're gonna add a few things and we're gonna talk about measurements. We're gonna do just a regular cornbread and I'm gonna add some jalapenos to it because once again, my family likes things hot. Um, but I wanna talk to you about a few things. If you use, you just use your favorite uh, cornbread mix, you know, that you buy in the store. If you are making the muffins, which I'm going to do today in the little muffin cups, you just use one box. If you're using the 10 inch pan, you use two boxes. And obviously follow the box directions, which is a third of a cup of milk. Just pour it in there. Now, I want to talk about this. A lot of people use these measuring cups for liquid. This is a liquid measure, this is dry measure. Only dry ingredients should go in the cup type. The, and this is for liquids. So sometimes that has a big deal, especially when you're baking. Okay, egg. I always like to break my egg into another bowl because if you have shells, you can pick it out. But if you do it right into here and you get a shell, it's kind of hard to see, especially when you have a white mix. Uh, if you have any egg shell that falls into your egg, which I don't, but I'm going to show you, just take your shell, dip it in there by the egg, and it just immediately attaches to it. It like, kind of acts as a magnet. So anyways, egg. I like to give it a little stir, a little break. I also just like to use my little mini whisk. Pour your egg in there. I'm going to even add it hotter than jalapenos. I'm going to add some cayenne. My husband's from New Orleans. And the hotter, the better. Some These are just pickled jalapenos that I just diced up. Then you're just going to mix it. And today we're going to bake it right on the liner pan in these cups. But if you're using the 10 inch pan, you're going to want to use the one inch rack. Just make sure it's all incorporated. You can use a whisk if you want. Usually for two boxes I do, but I'm just going to use one. Um, just my spatula here. All right. Now what I do to make it easy so that everything it's mess free, I pour it into here and then I pour it into my muffin cups. All right. So just put your muffin cups, don't let them touch. We'll see how many we can get in here. And then fill them about three quarters of the way full. And oh, by the way, the cups have been sprayed. And you should also spray the 10 inch pan if you're just doing a, a pan of bread. You can also do this in an eight by eight or nine by nine pan that fits in the new wave. If glass, if you're doing it in glass, you're gonna add about four to five minutes. It's harder for the infrared to go through the glass. Let's see. All right. Just gonna add one more little one here. All right, just for time's sake, I'm just gonna bake the, that amount. Okay, put our dome on, make sure that it's secured. We're gonna give it cook time. Uh, let's see, 10 minutes. Start, and I'll be back here in 10 minutes to show you some wonderful jalapeno muffins with some fresh butter. All right, our muffins are done. 10 minutes. And we're gonna let them kind of sit. Well, I can't wait, so put one right here. And then just peel it off. Ooh, some fresh butter. Put this off to the side and show you this. 
Don't try, let them cool down. I've got hands of steel. Well, anyways, I, maybe I don't. But let them cool down and then take them out. And there you have it, cornbread jalapeno muffins. Till next time, have a great day.